no, I'm footy head. Yeah, yeah, I'm mad footy head. I, I want to keep up to speed with what's going on, what's being said, what's happening. I want to watch plenty of games of footy. I want to watch opposition. You know, and I enjoy still watching the game. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who's playing almost. I just don't mind watching the game of footy. It's just what I've grown up doing. And I think anyone who says that been in the game as long as I have, probably in footy, as I have, to say you're not a footy head, I, no, I don't think anyone could believe you because you wouldn't survive if you weren't. Oh, look, I grew up in a big family, I'm one of ten. Being from a big family, it's, you had to work pretty hard. You had to work hard to get a feed, you had to work hard to do anything. But, um, you know, I think it was just, just what you expect of yourself and, you know, as much as anything else, you, you, you want to be a hard worker, that's what you want to be known for. So I wanted to get the job being who, who, who I am. I didn't want to get the job trying to be someone that they wanted and you, you probably got to a point where you said, well, maybe it's just not for me and, and I'm best to stay out of the way and, and get on with getting on and I was okay with that decision, but it just, it just did burn away a little bit that you know, maybe I was uh, not quite right for a lot of those jobs that, that, that come up and, and maybe there was a reason that I was left for this job. I've always been reasonably close with the players and that's probably what makes me get involved emotionally with them I reckon is that I actually am quite close with them and uh, I think it, uh, you know, it helps you understand what they're trying to do and, and they understand what, what I'm trying to do. I think it's important that we understand in this room that we really do have responsibility of what happens today. Let's be honest, this is a big game. If you can see one of you is in a bit of a dirty time or it's not quite working for you, just help get each other up. And when you go out there you have a responsibility to probably 55,000 people. Unless you as a group are getting it done for me, I'm probably useless. So you've got a big job I reckon. In you I do trust. And I'm sure you'll come in tonight with what you deserve. All right? Go get them. I think it's about being pretty honest you know, and helping people get to somewhere and, uh, you know, giving them every opportunity to do that. At the moment, what's been said about Port Adelaide is nice to hear, but there'll come a time when it's not always nice to hear, you know, but that's that's a balance you've got to have. You've got to be able to face up to the honesty of of when it's not going great, as well as the, the good times that there has been at the moment. At the end of my last uh, last game last year, I said that we have to climb. We're in somewhere around climbing this mountain and we're, we're still trying to get there and we've got a long, long way to go, but we know if we give up trying to climb, we, we might as well give up altogether. And you know, that's a bit like that, is that for me, it's, it's always about just trying to make it as good as we possibly can, get as good as we possibly can be and see where it ends up.